I started this podcast, as some of you might know, uh, because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, I lost all my gigs, and I thought this would be a good way to keep my music train moving through the world while things return back to somewhat of normalcy. Um, and I also thought it'd be nice to tell some stories and do some commentary on what's going on in the world. Uh, when I first started this podcast. But as time went on, things got more and more political and it became more and more dangerous to actually express what I think is going on in the world. Um, and here we are now, um, not even a week away from the election of the United States of America in 2020 for the President of the United States. And I feel very reluctant to talk about anything, to be honest. Um, I just really kind of just want to keep playing my music and not do this podcast anymore. Um, but something keeps me going. I don't know what. Um, even with my music, it's been a struggle. You know, I'm playing on the streets and stuff still. Um, playing at farmer's markets. I got a couple of gigs. I got one at Nate's. Uh, it's a bar and grill. Um, I love that place. And I got a couple of little bars outside and I'm playing out in the parking lots and stuff like that but by and large you know the income is like way down uh, it's just everything's way down and that's okay I get it we're in a wasteland right now um, but I just want to encourage anybody out there who's listening to keep going as well I mean we're all kind of probably going through this where we're in the doldrums we don't know whether to go forward move backwards give up um, and one of the reasons I actually became a, a musician and an artist in general is because I've always loved how musicians and artists can make me feel less alone in this world. Um, when I know that somebody else is going through struggles that are similar to mine, I feel I don't feel like a crazy idiot. Um, and so that's what I continue to do with this podcast. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cancel it. I don't know if I'm going to keep going, um, uh, but this episode is happening right now. I'm going to do it. Uh, these things are a lot of work. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how many people are actually listening or watching at this point. I don't know if it's doing me any good. It might actually be doing worse because, like I said, I might be expressing some opinions about what's going on that people don't agree with, and it might actually be hurting my music career. I don't know. But I, I think actually probably everybody's going through this similar, very similar thing right now, and so... Again, as an artist, I'm putting myself out there um, and being true um, to the world and letting the world deal with it the way they need to. Um, so, hello and welcome to episode 20 of the Fast Heart Mart co-video podcast. I am your host, Fast Heart Mart. If you want to know why I'm called Fast Heart Mart, just look it up. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by all my patrons on Patreon who donate monthly. Thank you so much. To all the people who tip me through Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. People who buy my merch at my website, fastartmart.com. And all the people who listen to me on Spotify and all the streaming sites and YouTube. As you may notice, I am wearing an American flag hat today. Um, and again, that's something that's become very controversial. I think the flag has become controversial through all this. And I get it. And I get it. We're questioning things. I certainly have criticized and questioned this country the united states of america for a long time now since i was a teenager all the atrocities that have been committed in the name of this country um and so on and so forth and there is many um i there was times when i thought i was going to leave this country and move to another place because i thought i didn't believe in this thing um yet after all my research that i have done and I, who knows how much of that actually is. I still find this country, the United States of America, to be the best country that's existed yet. Um, there is plenty of room for improvement and we definitely need to fix a lot of things. Um, yes, the current, one of the current topics is the minority communities in this community, I mean in this country specifically the black communities and yes i would love to see justice for those communities i would love to help um and i'd love to see this problem get fixed it would be great um 
there's other problems there's a wealth disparity which is personal to me um i have i have found that is something that, that affects us all i think that's something that martin luther king jr was also expressing a uh, great concern for is this wealth disparity um the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer and there's the shrinking middle class uh, i've never in my adult life i don't think i've actually ever been part of the middle class i've always been probably upper lower class or lower class or completely degenerate class whatever but um i think that is an issue i think the united states has been uh basically hijacked by corporations um i think it's been i think capitalism has been hijacked by corporations and cronyism i think it's corrupt capitalism's corrupt i think actually a lot about this country has become corrupt and uh and it needs to be fixed. I don't like it, and I would like to see it fixed. Um, here's the conclusion I have come to, though, with everything. I firmly believe that it's okay for me to love myself. I think it's okay for me to love my family. I think it's okay for me to love my friends. I think it's okay for me to love my neighbors. And therefore, I think it's okay to love my country. And I think it's okay for me to love my world. Now, uh, some of you may know, and I, I rarely mention this because, again, I don't like to talk about politics in public to people. I definitely don't do it at my shows, um, and I'm not sure why I'm doing it on this podcast, but here's the thing. I um, have believed in a, a faith called the Baha'i Faith for a very long time now, since actually 1997. Um, it just it's helped me a lot in my life, in my struggles with my heart condition and my mortality. And I'm not proselytizing here. I'm not saying anybody should be a Baha'i or whatever. Um, it's your choice. But it has helped me a lot. And the Baha as a Baha'i, we believe in world peace. We believe in one world. And I do believe that one day we will all live as one country, one big world. Um, right now, unfortunately, we're not there. Um, and I, like I said, I do believe the United States of America is still the best thing before we get to the world being one. Um, so there, that's that being said, yes, we have an election coming up. It's happening next Tuesday. Um, and um, I just encourage everybody to vote. Um, I think that's one of the um, great things about this country is it is we're all allowed to vote. People from all over the world want to come here and start a life and that is great and they've been allowed to that's another great thing about this country it is undoubtedly the most diverse country in the world there is more people here from everywhere than anywhere else in the world and i love that i think it's great and i'd love to keep keep on keeping on with that and so yeah we all get to vote next week and i would just say this i just i'm just going to say may the best man and or woman win Whatever happens, happens, and let's go with it. Um, I hope it goes smoothly and peacefully. Who knows what's going to happen, but I, I'm hoping for the best. I'm praying for the best, actually. This is a big deal. It feels really heavy, um, and it feels really important. So, that, therefore, I felt like it was appropriate to do the Star Spangled Banner, which is actually um, the national anthem, as you know, which has also become very controversial. And again, I really hope people don't misinterpret me by performing this song in the wrong way. I have really come around to looking into the United States of America in a different way in the last you know, probably five, ten years. Where I again, like I admit, there's plenty of problems that need to be fixed, but I think it's okay to love this country because we do encourage diversity. We encourage people from all walks of life to coexist. And I can't argue with that, man. I just can't. And so I did the Star Spangled Banner. Um, uh, it's a great song, actually. I mean, it's really powerful um, and it's really hard. It took, I've been practicing it for a month. I think my neighbors are going crazy, probably. I'm not even sure if they like this tune, but I've been practicing it for a month. So thanks to my neighbors, I love you for for uh, being tolerant of me practicing this song every day for a month. 
And I don't know if there's that, that many versions of this on the banjo. I've never actually heard one. I know I've, my uncle told me Don Reno did a version of the Star Spangled Banner on the banjo. I haven't heard any other versions on the banjo. I thought that would be a cool idea. And also, um, Spangled, dude, what a word, right? I mean, how often does that word come up in your daily life these days? Not very often, probably. The Star Spangled Banner. I'm going to have to start using that more often. Spangled. Anyway, here it goes. Star Spangled Banner on the banjo and go. Banner yet wave 
there it was i hope you really enjoyed that version of the star spangled banner and now it's time for the joke of the podcast which is another joke that i wrote this is really i'm really tapping out i'm digging deep here but here we go try this what did the patriot say when he felt somebody was condescending him and looking down on him don't patriotize me yeah um, patronize patriotize anyway um, so yeah there it is another episode of me exposing myself completely I can understand why podcasters get completely exhausted from this you're putting yourself way out there I think as a musician you put yourself out there a lot but I think when you just straight up talk to the world and just let it fly I mean you're really exposing yourself so much love to all you podcasters out there, controversial co- podcasters, non-controversial podcasters, whoever. This is not easy either. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to do it. So <laughs> please, if you have feedback, let just be honest and say, hey, you should stop doing these podcasts. They're not good. Uh, or you, don't, you have no chance ever of making an interesting podcast. Um, anyway, that's it for this episode. I appreciate you tuning in. Please consider donating on patreon um venmo paypal cash app buying some merch on fastheartmart.com uh please listen to fast Heart mart on spotify and all your favorite sites until next time everybody please be peaceful and healthy out there and see you in the next episode god willing mm-hmm.